Ladies, start your engines. It's time to shake things up a little bit. Welcome to a very special benefit. Tonight, we're going to aid in the construction of a new surgical wing at General Hospital. In honor of a man I'm proud to have called a friend, the late Dr. Tony Jones. As you know, Tony Jones was a wonderful neurosurgeon and saved many lives. And because of your generosity tonight, his name will live on at the hospital he so selflessly served. Tony Jones also had a great sense of fun, and I think that he would support our efforts in trying to spice up the notion of fundraiser. <laughs> you guys will get an immediate return on your money in the form of these yummy men. Come on out, boys! dignified and not so eligible men have agreed to the ultimate sacrifice an evening of dinner and dancing now the tickets have already been purchased step on up ladies the evening awaits you want to see me mr c i need you to do something for me max i realize that i've been asking a lot of you lately oh no worries, you know, I'm here to serve. It's not going to be easy. But it's a loose end that has to be handled by somebody that I can trust. And at this point, that's you, Max. Maybe only you. Look, Jason, believe it or not, I'm an empathetic guy. I can actually see this from your perspective. You dedicate your whole life to Sonny to his dirty work, you, you protect his secrets, you take his crap, you put yourself on the line for him. How long has this been going on now for what? 10 years? And how does he repay you? He IDs you as the Escobar shooter. I gotta tell you, he's gonna make a very, very convincing and very compelling witness. Sonny Corinthos is gonna take you down. That's one hell of a thank you for everything you've sacrificed, huh? We've got a problem. Here's how it works, ladies. The names of our men are in this bowl. You take one at random. It's all by chance here, fate, or whatever you want to call it. And since I'm your hostess, I'll go first. What did I say about fate? Jasper Jax. Well, wow. looks like it's you and me, kid. Not so fast. That's fine. I'll well, check with the health agency you claim to work for. They never heard of you. Well, of course they're going to say that. I mean, that's standard operating procedure in a government agency. But my name is Robert Scorpio, and I'm here to apprehend Luke Spencer, a man who you also happen to be looking for. The man who also seems to have carte blanche on this island to wreak havoc as he pleases, hence my arrest. This guy's probably in a cheap hotel room with his favorite bottle of booze and a few other accessories, laughing himself sober as we speak. I realize what I'm about to ask you is outside your job description. 
I totally respect the problems you're having with Jason right it's now. It's not about Jason. It's about Carly. Car Carly? She's uh, hosting a charity event, auctioning enough men for dinner or something. Mm -hmm. you know, I was supposed to be one of them, but at this point, obviously, you know, it's out of the question, right? So I just want you to take my place. You want me to be auctioned off? That's what I said. <clears throat> it's at the Metro Court. Now, this is the favor I need, I need from you. Keep an eye on Emily. And you tell me who she ends up with. beefing up the security detail around here if I were you. You're gonna need more than one guard considering the kind of lies you've been telling. Huh? As your host and hostess, in the interest of fairness, Carly will be picking last and I will remain on the proverbial block. Of course. Never was I thinking. Careful, you're jealous, Jason Sean. Don't flatter yourself. So, who wants to go first? I guess I will. Emily? Sonny's not here. Don't you want to take your place with someone else? Patrick Drake. Nice. Patrick! Mom? Nicholas Cassadine. <laughs> Lorenzo Alcazar. Oh, yes, still in front of me. <laughs> Do I have to? Random. Find better me than someone else. Diego Alcazar. Any physical contact with me and I'll slap you. I hear. No drink. Oh. Jacks. Excellent. It gives a chance we haven't had to really catch up. Scotch. Make it a double. What are you doing here? <sighs> Mr. C sent me to his place. Who do I get stuck with? Me. Oh, yeah? I don't belong here, Pop. The point is to look and act like you did. Huh. Has this guy figured out that she's more of a PR campaign to you than a girlfriend?
Tell us where in damnation are you? Does that man ever wake up on the right side of the bed? I brought you something to keep your energy up. Oh, Alice, how sweet of you. Thank you very much. You're oh, welcome. There you are. Have you gone deaf? I can't find my slippers. You can eat anything at all? Just holler. That strategy never works for me. Where are my slippers? Impertinent woman. I take it Alice isn't too happy with you. No, oh, her knickers are still in a twist. Because I freed Robert to go look for that... Oh. We really need to do something about the rampant insubordination that we have to endure from the staff around here. Well, at least you found your slippers. <laughs> you know something? Even... Even Alice's bad mood can't damage my good mood tonight. Why, Edward? Did something happen that I don't know about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Emily has come to her senses. She left Sonny's den of iniquity and came home. Poor kid. Huh? Well, sue me, okay? I happen to feel for the kid. Like it or not, she loves Sonny, and I know leaving him couldn't have been easy. But it's over. That's what matters. Sonny is history. So is, is Luke Spencer. And we only have one more problem. It's the company you keep. I'm sure you wish you were with Sky right now, instead of sitting here with me trying to think of things to say. I find your company charming. Do you? Mm -hmm. I want you to know it wasn't me who told Luke that you switched through this and Sky's charts. I know. It was Manny. This is a payback for a business deal gone sour. That's not a factor anymore. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for... for reaching out to me when I was in a dark, angry place. Not many people did, and I appreciate it. I have always seen the good in you, Nicholas. Welcome back. So I'm married, and I'm juggling work and juggling school, and I still have to find something to wear a prom, and... You're completely bored, aren't you? No. Oh, no. Of course not. It's okay, I'm a little distracted myself. I'm really glad that I picked you. There's so many things that I can't talk about with anyone else. And why, Luke? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm trying not to, but I'm just really worried about him. And I want to know if your mom really hooked up with Robert Scorpio. <laughs> I'm impressed, Mr. Scorpio. You look good for a dead man. If you're who you say you are, the explosion that supposedly claimed the lives of you and your wife, Hannah, was an elaborate ruse. Is that what you're telling me? I'm telling you that I'm here as a representative of the Medical Rescue Agency to see that this virus stays contained. I mean, a little hospitality wouldn't go amiss either. Clearly, you're going to continue to stonewall. I'd hope to avoid this, but terrorism isn't something to take lightly these days. I'm afraid I'm going to have to employ more extreme measures to get you to talk. Robert, I've caught up with you at last. Oh, no. Oh, no, not you. <laughs> you know, this is for charity. Are we going to just sit here all night and not say anything? Trust me, Rick, you don't want to hear what I have to say. Oh. What unforgivable infraction have I committed now? I'm, I'm guessing that it was your brilliant idea to have Sonny tell Durant that he saw Jason kill Escobar. Well, Jason knew the potential fallout when he began this whole takeover. He started a very high-stakes game with my brother. My brother has every right to fight for what's his, by the way, not Jason's. So if Sonny needs me to be there to help him strategize, then I need to be there for him. No. Rick, what you need is a wake-up call. How about I cut in? It's all right here in the forensics report. They found the sniper's nest. Given the angle of the bullet, there's no way that you or anybody else could have seen the sniper fire that bullet into Escobar. So your entire story is just falling apart. Now, unless we come up with a solid way to put your boy Jason at the scene, he is going to be back on the street and he is going to be looking for blood. Guess who's? You know this man? Oh, yes. Intimately. 
Robert and I go way back. See, she's established my identity. We're making some progress. Don't speak. Oh. You were right to detain him. Robert is extremely dangerous. Loyal to no one but himself and his own financial interests. He <clears throat> uses and abuses people, then throws them out like garbage. <clears throat> you should leave us. This won't be pretty. Take your time. <laughs> Elsa Crane. I knew you were putting on a show for that idiot. <laughs> Wrong again. Are you all right? I'm sorry. I just have a very hard time imagining my mother mistakenly or otherwise having s s sex. The word is sex. I can't believe you're so hung up about this. I'm surprised to see you here. Why is that? You don't think I fit in? Don't be defensive. It's no secret Jason was arrested for murder. You know, Jason wanted me to be here. Do you always do what he wants? <laughs> How is what I do any of your business? I'm curious. You like living on the edge? Waking up in the morning, wondering if today's the day you're gonna get shot. Oh, so now you think I'm with Jason because I'm some sort of danger junkie. Just asking. I'm sure that simple. Well, thanks for the save. Sam has been unbearable all night. I get where she's coming from. Why is that? Do you think I'm not suspicious of you? That I couldn't come up with a scenario where you influence Sonny against Jason to finally make a place for yourself in your brother's life? Mm. Is that what you believe? Could have. But according to Sonny, what's happening between him and Jason is inevitable. You should listen to Sonny because he's right. Jason got some power, he got a good taste of it, and he wanted more, okay? In the story, I think maybe he's... Jason's not interested in power. Oh, well, come on, don't be so naive. It's not going to serve you well in Sonny's world. See, I, I don't understand why everybody's so surprised that Jason would turn on Sonny. I mean, there's nothing there between them. There's no blood. Jason and I aren't either. That doesn't make him any less my brother. And you being blood related to Sonny doesn't make you any more his. Yeah. Yeah, hey, Sonny, uh, look, I had to release Jason. My guess is that he's uh, probably headed straight for you. It's me. What's up? Okay, listen. Um, Jason's out. He's not gonna be coming here. Stick with what we arranged. He'll be over there soon. I'll be ready. Judged a bit. I mean, even the slap feels familiar. Yeah, how long's it been? How many years since you left me in the crypt, filling up with sand to run off with the dictator's daughter? Oh, baby, I had no choice. I, 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 she had the chip. I wouldn't have left you for one second if I'd have thought you couldn't have got out of there. I mean, you were the best. More ways than one. And you're also smart enough to know that I'm not a terrorist. Who knows what you're about these days? Baby, I'll do whatever it takes to convince you. Anything? <laughs> so, uh, do you think you could give me some advice? <laughs> sure, I, I, I mean, if I can. Okay. So, I can't decide between this great little taffeta number with, you know, a pleated kick skirt or some tea-length and satin. What do you think? <laughs> you serious? No, I'm completely kidding. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. I had to. 
I am so sorry to interrupt. I have an emergency at table six. My date is about to die of boredom. <laughs> Since you're the best nurse around, I was wondering if you could possibly switch me and revive him. I will do my best. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that was very thoughtful. Yeah. I guess famous neurosurgeons aren't fascinated with the finer points of chromatire. Go yeah. figure. Something tells me you're not where you would like to be either. Come on, come with me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt, but uh, I haven't had dinner with my sister in far too long. Oh. Any objection to switching partners? None from me. No. Yeah, I'd love to spend time with you. noticed how beautiful you look tonight. That's not surprising. You haven't looked my direction much all night. Must be nice to be so connected. What are you talking about? Well, you're arrested one day for stealing a car and the next you're at a black tie event ogling my married sister. Oh, man. Makes you feel really good to look down on me, doesn't it? So what got you into this fancy event? Hmm? Was it the allowance that you get from your police commissioner, Daddy? Yeah? No? Yeah. See, I grew up on the street, okay? Sometimes you had to steal to eat. But you, princess, you just grew up surrounded by people who loved you. Hell, you even cheated death once with somebody else's heart. <laughs> Isn't that nice? And every privilege known to mankind is yours for the taking. So tell me something, Maxie. What are you doing with your pathetic life that's so much better than what I've done with mine? Oh, good, you're here. We're gonna have a little discussion now about uh, families. The kind who nurture, like ours. In our own unique, dysfunctional way. And the kind who destroy, like Sonny and Alcazar's. If Edward sends you in his reinforcements, then he's wasting your time. I'm not leaving Lorenzo. He makes me happy. You said the same thing about Luke, and look how that turned out. Alcazar is at least as untrustworthy uh, as Luke. Would you let Skye and I have a couple minutes alone? Maybe another woman can show her that she's making a terrible mistake. Really, Monica? Don't you think I'm a little old for the stay away from the bad boy speech? I was a really lousy mother. I mean, uh, I put myself before anything. My wants, my needs, my affairs. All to the detriment of my children. And unfortunately, I can't go back and make it all right. You've got a chance to make it right, Sky. You really do. And that means that this baby and what it needs to have a good life must come first. Why are you irritating me? It's not my fault you didn't pick my name. Why do you have to get so involved in Lulu's problem? Because they're mine too. I know my mom's a walking nightmare, but I love her. I care about her. I can't help it. Believe me, I'm trying. I just, I don't, I don't want her to get caught up in some freaking misadventure with Luke. Someone could get really hurt, and I'm just terrified it's going to be my dad. Ah, Luke and Tracy and Robert are all adults, supposedly. They can take care of themselves, and you're the one who's stuck holding the short end here. But, good news, I think I can help. If you're hanging out with Sonny, you're going to find out soon enough, so I might as well tell you. I moved out. Well, you think that's really a good idea? Sonny needs you right now. Sonny needs Jason, maybe even more than me. And I'm willing to sacrifice everything I want and love to make sure that they get through this safely and with their friendship intact. Can you say the same? Why are you sitting in the dark? So sorry, Sonny. Um, 
I know I was supposed to watch the boys at Carly's tonight, but my mother has taken ill. I have it's okay, Letitia. I'll take care of them. Call me if you need anything. Okay, thanks. You look fine. You all right? Yeah. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Um, I was just thinking about something. You hungry? You want to make your dinner? Can I ask you something? I know Jason isn't supposed to come over here, here anymore because of some work thing. But could you ask him anyway? It would be so cool to have dinner with him like last time. Just as men. Please, Dad. As far as I can tell, you are a player. It's all about the conquest, but no, no follow through. At least with Jason, I know that my heart is safe. He loves me. He values the time we have together. And the fact that he's a killer doesn't bother you. I love Jason just the way he is. You believe that wench? Who? Robin. You know what she's doing right now? She's poisoning Jax against me. And he's laughing, <laughs> that jerk. I even rigged it so I would draw his name and we could spend the whole night together. But no, we had to be fair. Even after I proposed and everything. Say what? He didn't even have the decency to answer me. Can you believe that? Oh, I see. You think it's crazy that I asked him to marry me, don't you? I mean, I know it's crazy. I think it's crazy. And I fought it with everything I have. But I'm done. I just can't deny the truth anymore. It's you, Max. It's always been you. That's why I went crazy. I couldn't stand the constant pressure of fighting this overwhelming feeling I have for This you. isn't a good idea, Mrs. C. We weren't meant to be. I'm gonna show you how wrong you are. Everyone, can I have your attention, please? I have a very important announcement to make. Max, get up here. Do you see this handsome, strapping, wonderful man? I love him with all my heart, and my only hope is that someday he'll feel the same way. I've loved you all along, Mrs. C. She's just trying to be a good friend. Oh, please. I realize you don't like her. To put it mildly, yes. <sighs> Look, Carly's been through several life-altering experiences, and it's, it's really changed her. I mean, for proof, you don't have to look any further than this war between Sonny and Jason. They put Carly in a position where she had to choose, and guess what? She chose herself. And not, not in, a, in a selfish way, in a good way. I like her. I like her a lot. Just not sure about this marriage thing. What marriage thing? <laughs> I know. It took me by surprise as well. But I guess that's Carly for you. One surprise after another. She makes my head spin. And that takes a lot. Okay, you have a newborn. You should be concentrating on keeping your head on straight right now. Yeah, well, that was another surprise. The way she helped me with my son. Please tell me you're not thinking of asking Carly to marry you. I'm thinking about how I'm going to respond to her proposal. How's your evening going? Mm. Strange without Sunny. Yeah, I feel the same way about Lucky. I'm really grateful that Patrick paid for my ticket and it's for a wonderful cause, but I feel awkward. I can't even tell Lucky I was here tonight. I mean, he just wouldn't understand anything that's going on right now. Is everything all right? I heard noises. I let him go. Reluctantly. Robert is here for the reasons he stated. And if anyone can get the job done, it's Robert Scorpio. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Spencer? friends at one time and you now you're not friends anymore but jason's our uncle yes yes and he loves you very much he would never hurt you or you he protects you he used to i mean he does but sometimes it's not always easy being protected why because people want to make their own choices and they don't want to do what the protector wants them to do. Is that why you're mad at Jason? Because he told you what to do? Yeah, I guess I am. Well, you tell me what to do, and so does Mom. Even when I'm mad, I still love you too. You're right. You're always right, buddy. Must be hell on you in the middle of Sonny and Jason and being friends with both. I keep telling myself Jason will give in and things will go back to being the way they used to be. Doesn't seem possible at this point. <sighs> you know, Jason, he doesn't care about running the business. When he really understands how bad this is tearing Sonny and everyone else apart, he's going to let go of everything. I'm terrified they're going to kill each other over Emily. It's not Emily. It's about principle. The right to be who you are. To be who you want to be with. I mean, Jason gets it better than anyone. He's going to come around, Mrs. C. I know he will. Thanks, Matt. Everyone, I have a very important announcement to make. Put on your dancing shoes. It's Lady's Choice. I paid a lot of money to be here tonight. I plan on getting my money's worth. Can you spare the attention? <laughs> Can you handle the competition? I wasn't talking about the other women. I was talking about your father. You've been staring at him all night. Distract me. So how does this guy have to wait to be asked to dance? Are <laughs> <laughs> you already spoken for? No. I am now. <laughs> Looks like you had a rough night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Want to dance? With you? Absolutely. No, the other guy sitting here. Hey. hey. You are way too cute to be sitting out dances.
Pick up, pick up, pick up. Leave a message. The hit is off. Do you understand me? I don't want Jason Morgan shot. Don't get him out! Someone wanted me to give you this.